Hey guys, welcome to WedosBaby.com. Uh, thank you for watching. In today's video, what I would like to teach you is I would like to show you how to allow other users to submit their posts to your WordPress website. Okay, I would like to show you how to allow other users to submit their posts to your WordPress website. So you can actually do this in two ways. I'm going to um, show you how you can actually do this right now. So without wasting much of our time, let me take you to my uh, WordPress back office. So here's what you need to do. In your WordPress back office, just move uh, over to settings, then click on general. So click on general. Once you click on general, you'll see this page right here. By default, this is how it goes. I'm sure these are your own look. These are your settings look. Okay, so you check this box, my friend. Check this box, then uh, user role. Then make sure you put it, uh, select the contributor. Okay, is that cool? So let's go to, let's go to settings, general, then you see this page. Check this box, then uh, the user role. Make sure you select contributor. Then you hit. Save changes. Okay, we hit save changes. My friend. So this is the first way. I'm showing you the first way. Uh, uh, then after this one, I'll show you how you can do that. Uh, uh, how you can actually do, actually allow users to submit their post to your WordPress website. So this is the first step I just showed you. So, but we're not done with the first step yet. So you still need to do one more thing. You go to appearance, move over to widgets. Okay, move over to widgets. Guys, if you have any question, just uh, leave me with your thoughts in the uh, chat tag below this video. Okay, if you have any questions, maybe you're not going to anything. Just leave me with your thoughts right below this video now. I'm sorry for this. So you see this right here, meta. This meta tag, what you what uh, the meta widget, you need to add it to the sidebar of your of your website so that users can register, so you can log in. Okay, and once you log in, that means you you can get you can get access to your to your main content. The uh, the limited some things, okay, because they are contributors, I think. So just I can just move this meta over here. So let's let me just move this, this way. So guys, this is the first way. Okay. This is the first method of allowing users to submit their posts to your WordPress website. Okay, so let me show you the second method. The second method is you install a plugin. They are going to install a plugin. So this, what this plugin will be for is, you need to user don't they don't need to register before they submit their post to your website. That's what this plugin is all about. And this first thing I will show you, you have to register. And once they once they register, they are going to be they are going to be um, they are going to contributors, okay? Contributors. They are going to be their name, just contributors. So they will be giving. The opportunity to submit their post to your WordPress website. Okay, so uh, let me show you the second step. Right. Let me show you the second step.
sorry, my connection is a bit slow here. My connection is a bit slow. Because it's really over here. It's really, it's really heavy over so here. So that's why the connection is a bit slow. Alright. So you see this plugin? User submitted post. Make sure you install this user submitted post, then activate it. So once you activate it, remove what we set it. Okay? Remove what we set it. So what this plugin will uh, do for you is, like I said, you know the first method I showed you. They have to uh, use that, um, they have to register before they can submit their post. But with this uh, plugin, they don't have to register, so you can just submit their post directly to the website. Okay, so so this is the plugin. Here's how the, uh, the plugin look at. So you just go here, portions. Uh, options then just you see the settings you set you can just set it to your to the way um just set it the way you want okay set it the way you want so i'm i'm gonna remove this one like this one i'll leave them like this then categories that way uh, i'll um, check all the categories okay so you see Do the success missing once it's submitted, do the missing everything. Um, so there are, there are many things you can actually change here. There are many things you can actually change here. So once you are done with all the settings, just click save settings. Once you are done um, editing the settings the way you want, okay, just click on save settings. Okay. Click on save settings. So after saving it. After saving it, after saving it, so what you do is you, you copy this code, copy the code, you copy the code, then you create a page, create a page where uh, you want, create a page where you want to uh, where, where you want this form to be on. Okay, if you want the form to be on a particular page, you create the page for it. It's going to be on a, uh, on a post. So just create the post and put the code here. So I'll just go here and add new page. Guys, if you have any questions, just leave me with your questions right below this video. Okay, leave me with your, any questions right below this video, and you cannot play with any story. Time. Just leave me with uh, the question. Okay, so I'll just call this guest post. Call it guest post, and I will. I will paste that code that I just copied. I will paste it into the page I'm just creating. Okay, so let me publish the page. Publish. Sorry guys, sorry about my connection. My connection is a bit slow and it's really good in time. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and preview the page to see where it goes. So I want to preview the page to see the page, uh, where the page goes. So, you see, this, um, this, this is the form. So, I just put this form out and I hit the submit post. The post will be a uh, submit, uh, it's going to uh, get submitted to your website. Okay, so once they hit, so, um, just so once you have, uh, the user, once the visit, your visitors, okay, once they fill this form out and they submit their post, then it's going to get published on the website. Okay, so, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you. I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. And please, if this video was helpful to you anyway, please leave me the top part of the video and I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay.